Hey everybody, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Thumb FPV. Today we are going back over working with the Snapmaker 2.0. There's so much that you can do with this machine, it's ridiculous. There, there's, <laughs> there's a lot. Um, but what I'm going to go over with today is something else with the laser engraver on it. And what I decided I was going to do today was play around with engraving on tile. And you can do this, it is a thing, I have done it. I'm still working on it. This is the very first time that I've ever done it, but we have engraved laser tile right here, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Check this out. All right, so here we are. This is the Snapmaker Lumen program. We are in 3.13.1 forward slash new and we are working with the laser g-code generator today. Now I threw this little tiny image together real quick because I wanted to try to do something new and I did. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to run this on and with a couple steps um, got to paint the uh, tile first, but we are going to try to laser engrave this on an actual piece of tile and see how it turns out. So we have this in here, we have it ready for process. In order to get this going, we'll have to generate the G code. Only takes a short minute here. We'll load the workspace, connect to our machine now we have connected to it so it needs to jog all the axes real quick in order for it to find its home position Should almost be done. All right, so that's complete. Sounds a little different when you're standing right next to it in the uh, different room. It has the most concerning noise that it makes. I don't know, it's an echo or something like that. It sounds like the thing's gonna break. But so we have everything loaded. We're going to go load G code to workspace. We have that done already. Send to device via the Wi-Fi. Sending file and the file is sent. Now I don't need to go over all the little steps for doing the laser calibration and stuff like that. There's already a video for that up. If you want to check that out, feel free to go ahead and find that. Um, show you how to manually calibrate it, run your boundaries and all that other stuff. But we're going to jump right in to the time lapse on this and see exactly how this turned out after it was done. All right, we're all set up here. We have a piece of tile for our first ever attempt at laser etching on the tile. Everything is set. Um, we have our print loaded into the software. Every, the laser is set to 100%. We have coated the top of the tile first. Um, supposed to put a flat thin um, layer of black paint on the top of it the tone of the tile itself is like an off-white like an eggshell sort of um, so I've set the height for the laser here I'm going to run the perimeter on it real fast boundary I should say looks good. What I like to do is sometimes this thing doesn't always give the best and clearest idea of where it's going to print. So I'll take and I'll lay like I did right here. That's why this piece of paper is down. Print out exactly where it's at then just rerun the program again with something else over top of it where you know where it's going to be because it doesn't 
always fully lined up center to the actual platform. All right, so everything is set and we are going to put this on a time lapse. All right, so here we go. We have our first piece. Just a rough draft on trying to do something new with this. A lot of people do this that have the engravers or whatever, but I just wanted to check it out real quick. Now, supposedly you can take and you can scrape this off without screwing it up. So that's gonna be the next step. Okay, so I got it all cleaned up. I took a wire brush to it, scraped it down, washed it, got it clean as I possibly could. I'm going to scrub the hell out of this. I could have cleaned a grill the way I scrubbed it. Um, and this is what is left. This is the actual laser burn into the tile. Now it's not the darkest. This is the first time that I've ever tried to do this. So I'm going to have to tamper with the settings a little bit here. But that is in there and that is not ever going to come out unless you like literally change the structure of it like that is in there to stay so there is first thing that I've ever done on the snap maker as far as laser etching on tile got a couple more ideas to go on this um, I've been waiting on doing this for a minute because I have some more stuff that I'm working on for the laser etcher and I was waiting to get it constructed but this is what we have for today um, I'm going to definitely have another video on this, um, try to amp up the settings a little bit. This is with the laser at 100%, um, but I'm going to see what I can do, tweak it out, and just try to get it uh, to come in a little bit more clear next time, not so light. Um, but I'm, I'm still very happy with this for, for the first one. I mean, that, that, that's amazing. That's really neat. And actually, laser etch tile so <laughs> well I'm over here ogling this <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this video up um, and uh, stay tuned we'll have a lot more to come this is thumb FPV thanks for watching have a good one